you can get a lot of insurance on your kids for a very little amount of money. You know, uh, you can get, I think my daughter, I did a policy when she was like two months old or something. And it was like 300 bucks a month and it got her like $400,000 of death benefit, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's overfunded. You know what I mean? Like, and there's cash value accumulating. And, like, and you don't have to overfund. That's Kids insane. don't have to be overfunded as no, much. No, you as, don't. It's, yeah, it's kind of already. You will. Pay. If you have questions throughout, go to garrettgunderson.com forward slash WWGD, as in what would Garrett do? And we'll answer those questions here. I don't know when. We'll eventually get to them. But that's what we're here doing today. Got my buddy Chris What's from up? Life 180. What's Definitely. up, man? This is from Brenda. She says, I want to take out a whole life policy. I actually have one from when I was younger. My dad started one at MetLife when I was a teenager. He turned it over to me years later. I'm 52 and still have it. But it's just a $25,000 policy. It's been helpful. I've used it twice for the loans. But I'm only looking to take out, but I am looking to take out a much larger policy on myself, my husband, and my two children. FII. We have term life to cover us if anything happens. What type of companies do I want to look for? I thought I heard someone say on one of your shows, look for mutual companies. I was looking at Northwestern Mutual, Penn Mutual, et cetera. The thing is, I don't know what I don't know. What I do want to ask the representative, I know is it supposed to be overfunded whole life, right? So let's just start there yeah. and we can go into more. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, she's been listening and paying attention. That's awesome. That's um, so why mutual versus stock? Well, not just mutual, participating mutual. Participating right? so mutual. For, okay. let, and let me explain. Like yep. All state is a mutual company. State I, I, I have a, a rule, company. never buy an insurance policy with a PNC company. Right. Because yeah. even if it's a separate division, yeah, think about it. If they get in trouble because there's major hurricanes and, yeah. it's, and it's a lot of PNC claims, mm -hmm. like we had a huge winter in Utah, mm -hmm. like there's a lot of claims there. What happens to the attention of that company? Totally. And the balance sheet of that company. Nationwide is a mutual company. It's on your side. Nationwide has one of the top selling IUL products mm -hmm. in the industry, right? Like, so just because it's mutual doesn't mean it's a participating mutual. So a participating mutual company means that you as the whole life policy holder are participating in the profitability of the company through a dividend. Right. That's what it is. So I like companies that have always paid a dividend. Sure. Right. What's not and, to like? And for a hundred years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's, that's a decent track record. It doesn't guarantee a dividend in the future, but sure. once a dividend's paid, it's locked it in. is then locked in and yeah. becomes guaranteed. Yeah. So participating mutual company. How many do you think there are out there? I always think of like a dozen that I'd be good, yeah. comfortable holding a policy with. I Yeah, I would say. Maybe more. I don't even know if I'd go that many, honestly. All right, I, so let's just let's see. Ready to have some fun? Yeah. Uh, we go. With, you do one, I'll do one. Uh, they, she said Northwestern Mutual. Okay. I, I don't have a policy with them. Okay, yeah, sure. New York Life. Um, Guardian. Uh, Mass Mutual. Penn Mutual. Um, Lafayette Life. Uh, that's the one I was going to say. Uh, uh, gotcha. Mutual Trust. Mutual Trust. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the lower tier for you. Yeah, lower tier, but still I don't have one on, on the but, yeah. on the on the spectrum. One America, um, one America. Oh, you got me. One America. That's eight. Um, Security Mutual. Yeah, don't know them. Okay. Um, gonna, Emeritus. Yeah, I Emeritus. I'm, I, I've got one with them. Yeah, I you wouldn't Our do it couple. again, probably. But no. like, yeah, but like whatever. So that's ten. So that, yeah. you know, ten, ten solid companies. We probably could stretch it out. Foresters, but they're not a mutual company. They're, they're a, they're a, they're a uh, I've heard of them, but don't know their policy. They're a fraternal company. They're not a mutual company. Um, so I, I would stick to probably that 10. Yeah, these are companies maybe. that have yeah. hundred plus year track record. Yeah. They've got billions upon billions upon billions and some mm -hmm. trillions. Yeah. Trillion mm -hmm. in assets. Yeah. I mean, a couple, they're right. monsters. Mass and Northwestern are just behemoths. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't like that Northwestern punishes their agent when you borrow. Yeah. Like, and that they kind of like, they try to be really captive and not allow their agents to look outside. Northwestern's a fine company. Like I have like, just being honest, like I have a problem with Northwestern mutuals culture, like the product is fine, but to me, their culture is important. Like I want to work. I would people. never have someone replace one of those policies. Of course not. Right. No, like, oh, yeah, cool. no. that's, that's great. Like I had somebody come to me the other day. It was like, they had a nine year old Northwestern mutual policy and they're like, uh, and they watched one of my TikTok videos where I kind of like said some, de not derogatory, but just like, you know, things about Northwestern Mutual that, that, that I just believe to be true. And they were like, oh, I don't want to have this policy now because, you, and I'm like, no, you can't replace so that. Check, that thing is yeah. still gold. Like at nine years old, that's a great policy. So the person who bought the largest whole life policy from Northwestern mm -hmm. in the eighties, okay. um, they're, you know, they're sitting there and they were looking to get a loan. Yeah. Our clients of mine. And I was like, 
I can have money to your house in 72 hours in a place you don't even know that it's there. And they're like, no way. I'm like, I promise you. Yeah. So we call the number because I have all their stuff. I'm like, call this number and just ask for, you know, just say you're here with someone on the financial team and mm -hmm. you have some questions. When they called and they saw the size of the policy, man, they put us up to, <laughs> they were worried like I was going to do something to replace it. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't. I was just, hey, we want to get a half a million dollar loan. And yeah. I don't know anything about Northwestern you right. know, forms or, or like sure. you know, what they're, so they ended the up getting that. And they were like, dude, that's awesome that, that we have that. They, they're they so had happy no idea what, they, what the asset they They didn't they realize like how easy it was to get access to the cash. They had yeah. a ton of cash in there. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, and by the way, the Northwestern team was so jittery with me. Being oh, yeah, because the they were nervous as all get out, right? Like, like, I'm, like, why would you I'm praising you guys not replacing <laughs> anything know, here. But, like, there's a lot of nefarious agents out there that would be commission hunting that would. I, that would I mean, that. I wasn't. I, did, I haven't sat down and sold a life insurance policy since probably 06. I got licensed again and I sell again, right? So, it's been fun. So, I, I, fun. I stayed licensed for a long time and. and Went on app with Mike Isom when I was mm -hmm. sending him leads and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that and starting an insurance agency now because it's like, yeah, you know, you yeah. know why. I get it. I yeah. get it. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so, so there's other things though. I think it's more important than um, just is it mutual or not. Yeah. Um, every company is a little bit different. And I think this is uh, one of the things that is really important to understand. Not one company does everything well. Right. And so when we when we look at uh, what we're looking at, uh, looking for in a policy, it's it's really a function of like, what are you looking for the policy to do for you? How like are you coming with uh, the ability to front load a policy, mm -hmm. the ability to front load a policy, like really over front load a policy, like 10 to 20. Some X. companies are going to be better than others. 100 percent. Some companies uh, when when you want to do high levels of PUAs, the PUA charges. That's the overcharge. That's the overpay. That's the. Paid up additions, paid up otherwise up. called overfunding is what she's right. referencing in here. Yep. And, and so, some charge more for that than yeah, others. Yeah, so I mean- Some don't some, charge anything, right? Well, some don't disclose what they charge, but they still charge. But like like Lafayette and One America, 6%. Guardian, 11%. Oh, Penn really? Mutual, 15%, right? Like it is what it is. Penn Mutual, you have a lot of agents selling it. We're contract, like we you know, can, I don't do a lot of it because it's a, they they charge a 15% PUA fee. They also pay higher commissions on PUAs to agents than any other company, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, you gotta like, you gotta just understand all these variables come in, but it's more than that. Above and beyond the cost of the PUAs, what are the flexibility of the paid up additions, right? Because one of the challenge, one of the, I, I guess, ways that people rip on whole life is the lack of flexibility, which is not true. However, like certain companies, and I'm not going to call companies out on this one because I don't want to get in trouble, but like certain companies um, will like, let's say you're doing a 70-30 split, like 70% paid up additions, 30% base, and uh, a $10,000 premium. That means effectively 30%, $3,000 is going to the base, $7,000, 70% is going to paid up additions. Let's say one year or maybe like a three-year period, you're not able to pay the 7000 because time times get tough, whatever. And you just, you reduce Go it to, the to 3000. A lot of companies are not going to allow you to start contributing. The Other 7, companies again. say just, I need a hundred dollars, right? Yep. hundred dollars yep. of paid up and I'll let you keep doing it. $120 fee yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And, and, and they do, but then even still they'll reduce your ability to fund it completely. And there's a sliding scale that will reduce how much you're able to contribute. Some companies will, if, if you want and need that ultimate flexibility, there are some companies that are just better that will allow you ultimate flexibility and say, Hey, no matter what you do, drop it, raise it like up to the amount that you illustrated for and you have that flexibility. And so, you know, sometimes that flexibility carries more value for some people than others. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, and so, you know, for, for somebody that's like a W2 employee that has, you know, a ton of income and they know that they can pay it and they're using it for legacy and retirement, like volatility buffer planning and like legacy planning, they probably don't, value that flexibility as much as if like you're a real estate investor or you're, you know, uh, an entrepreneur right. and your, your cash flow is all over the map and you know, you need to have a year or two of flexibility. Yeah. So she wants to know what to say to ask to get the product that she wants. So uh, the first thing is how much can be overfunded? Yeah. What's the max? Yeah. What's the flexibility? Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Um, is it participating mutual company? Yeah. would be the next question. 
question. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, everyone we listed have been around yeah. forever. So, yeah. you know, there's a, there's a docket of companies. So it'd be great to have a policy out for the kids because it, you know, it's going to be a lower premium. Right. But I would say get the maximum amount on you, even if it's convertible term. Yeah, with whole life yep. or whole life, depending on the cash flow. And you can do term on yourself and then permanent on your kids. That's fine. Right. You don't need a whole life policy on you to get a whole life on your child. In my, in my like, I don't know, ideology, I'm saying you want to get it on the person that's making the most money of first. Course. Of course. And yeah. permanent would be great if possible. Yeah. Overfunded, even better. Yeah. And then get the kids after. But like yeah. securing the kids you know, health and death benefit really critical. <laughs> well, it's crazy is, is, um, you can get a lot of insurance on your kids for a very little amount of money. You know, I uh, mean, you can get, I think my daughter, I did a policy when she was like two months old or something. And it was like 300 bucks a month and it got her like $400,000 of death benefit, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's overfunded. You know what I mean? Like, and there's cash value accumulating. And, like, and you don't have to overfund. That's Kids insane. don't have to be overfunded as no, much. No, you as, don't. It's, yeah, it's kind of already you will. In. You're kind of not able to overfund it the way you're able right, to an overfund adult. an adult policy. Totally. Yeah, there are restrictions because of MEC limits and term rider restrictions and all these things that go into it. Yeah, and Brenda, you can go to cashflowbanking.gg and we'll make sure you get someone that can help you out with that. Cool. But anything else you'd mention yeah. there? No, I think that's, I think that's, that's good. Two short videos from Chris and Garrett. It's a that's, near miracle. A <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're enjoying these videos, well, there's good news. More where that came from. So go ahead and click through and watch the next video now.